drive to your FX. Coming at you on Wednesday. Hump day, as they like to call it. Nothing to do with sex, of course. It's like more of like the camel hump or something. It's a crappy name. I'm not going to use that anymore. Um, 06 May. What's going on out here? Uh, stocks are trapped in the middle. Euro yen finally broke 45. Dollar yen broke through 35. Um, but that said, not a whole lot. Volatility has been reduced to annoying, to annoying levels. Um, let's just see how things look. Take stocks, for instance. Uh, I would argue on Monday we had one of the most bearish, bullish days ever. This bar here was like bullish, but incredibly bearish as far as the metrics that got us higher. And then yesterday we had a very bearish, but, but a very bullish, but bearish day. So we, we actually made good, good moves to the top side, but then we get slapped at the close. Um, right at that uh, 61.8 retracement of um, of this little move here. Where does that leave us? Um, it leaves us right in the middle, uh, as you can see. 50% is is of this whole thing is uh, is probably right here, just off the top of my head, 28 28.60. But it doesn't matter. The point is, we're in the middle of nowhere. And tactical book scratched the day. We were we were short all day, and then we we did sell the highs. Great, good job, Bobby. Um, why the fuck were you short all day uh, on a seventy handle move? Not a great trading day. Uh, no damage, but annoying. So uh, anyway, tactically we're square. Um, stupid day yesterday, and now we're stuck in the middle. So nothing to do here tactically. We will be selling uh, again up in this sort of 28, 90, 30, 20 area. Tactically, we, we just sit tight. The trend book is short. Not great. Uh, but we sleep in the bed that we made. Euro looks kind of crappy. Um, on the surface, obviously that court case yesterday was a bit of a fuck job, right? Um, 109.20 paid on the actual ruling and then the cascade lower on the threat, the three month threat. Uh, we're going to throw this right into the, uh, bucket of Europe self-harming forcing itself into a corner uh, is the ECB going to stop buying BTPs in our opinion no is Italy going to get fixed in our opinion no is the euro going to be fine in our opinion sort of so I will go through some growing pains here um I could go into the nuances of that court case and the judge and, and all that stuff, but I, I don't want to do that here. This is just European Open. What are we going to do today? Um, but anyway, uh, so Euro is going to be a little bit under the cosh uh, going forward, but I think everyone is going to realize that nothing really is going to change. Change is very, very slow to happen in Europe. It always has been. Um, which in one sense makes it robust, which in another sense makes it uh, frustratingly uh, inadequate on many levels. All that said, here we are in the Euro. This is the line that I'm looking at that is interesting to me. Looking for the second touch here as support. 107.60. We're buyers down there. Uh, we haven't been trading much euro, uh, but we will buy some euros at 107.60.
euro yen, which I thought was driving the bus yesterday, um, smack the pony, right? Not before it went up to 116.40, though. You know, just to rehash. Boom, 116.56. Sorry, Charlie. Um, and then people started digesting the actual opinion and said, wait a minute, there's a there's an idle threat in there. And uh, they rode that pony down. And then finally broke 45 properly in Asia. Low has been 10. You can be core short uh, euro yen today. You can do your sell zone is uh, there will be stops. So everyone who sold through 45 is going to leave a stop around 60. So your sell zone is between 60 and 80 in uh, euro yen today. I'm not sure we're going to get involved in that. Sterling yen. Uh, more interesting today only because it hasn't broke yet um, 132 the figure we talk about our biases a lot we're pretty biased against what's going on in the UK right now so we're quite happy to sell sterling in but chart also says be careful uh, once you break 131.85 you have a low from 21 you have a low from 29 29 April, 21 April, you have a low from 27 March. Um, Ster sterling yen looks looks a little slippery. Um, and we'll see. I don't think there's any, any super interesting news. We have uh, consumer confidence out. Um, in the afternoon, actually. We have consumer confidence out in the afternoon after ADP, um, but these these economic releases don't matter. Short sterling yen is on the cards uh, for privateer today. Aussie, we talked about selling at seventy yesterday. What was the high? Uh, seventy four. Seventy six. Um, no no drama, right? We're just at 36, just a little tactical trade. Um, we're still bearish. Uh, Aussie. Today, we're not going to sell at 70, actually. we Our big sell point was 64.90. So if you look at what I was doing here. Um, I don't even know what I was doing. Hold on. This here, uh, 64.90, is um, is our serious resistance. So even though this is a pretty bearish bar, it's bearish in the middle of the range, just like this is bullish in the middle of the range. It doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Um, 64.90 is our sell point if we get up there. Gold, same shit. This pennant is getting closer on either side. Check it out. This might be, we actually might trade this. Maybe out of boredom, I'm not even sure, but top side of this pennant is 1727. You want to be long gold if it's possible. It's kind of like being long Bitcoin. Um, pretty tough. Wild ride. Stocks we talked about, now they're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're sellers on high ones. We expect now some stops above this 90 area. So between 90 and 20, uh, we're going to sell. And... I don't know. We're basically just trying to be core short. Tactical book, I mean, we are core short. But for the tactical book on the day, we just prefer selling. So we just wait for our sell levels. If we don't see it, it's fine. Try and book a short. Um, so I'm not sure we're going to see above 90 today now that I just say it out loud. But we'll see how it goes. Let's look at CAD Yen because oil's going nuts. CAD Yen is not reacting because the dollar yen side of it is 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 pushing it lower. Um, I haven't run the correlations recently on CAD yen and oil. This is kind of an old fashioned shows my age um, correlation. But oil at twenty four forty two. 
High today was 26.08. How do you, how do you like them apples? My God, motherfucker. We have not been long oil. Annoying. Uh, anyway, oil's bid. Is Cad Yen going to turn? Maybe. Don't really know. Let's go to the four hours. Not a great chart. Just threw that out there. Now we're just going to throw it away. Um, don't worry about CAD yet. Anything else out there? Not really. Uh, you can see the focus today is short sterling yen. Um, we'll be selling between this 20 and 50 area. We'll be adding through the figure. Um, I guess we'll be hoping for some bad news out of the UK, which is not, great, not uh, super great at a karmic level. But say la vie. That's the job. That's the job, Barney. Um, one last thing. Euro Norway. I've been talking about this 11 level. 11.10 printed. You wonder if this line here is going to come into play. Looks like it's already kind of traded. Never mind. Let's wait for 11. Uh, we want some kind of touch and a little bit of a balance. And um, then we can smack the pony. Uh, get short Euro Euro Norway. We're, we're short dollar Norway. Trend book, uh, same thing. Looking at this 10.10 level and seeing if we can get some, card, some sort of setup to sell. All right, man, I said a lot today. Listen, subscribe. Click the thumbs up or the middle finger, or whatever that thing is. Um, I guess you're supposed to comment. These guys in Dublin are not leaving me alone. Um, and they're kind of like teasing me in a sense that like, like this whole video thing is, is, uh, is, is a waste, even though it's very good for me. Um, anyway, to shut these guys up, go ahead, subscribe, and click and do all that modern digital shit. Bye.